Let's review a few questions on dimensional analysis for our algebra homework. We're going to go over options C and D. Let's start with C. It says, fortunately, you survived. You are stranded on an island that is 12.5 degrees north of the equator. How many kilometers is this? We're going to be going from 12.5 degrees to kilometers. How are we going to make that conversion? Let's take a look at our table. We need to figure out, are we using length, area, or volume? We're clearly going to be using length. So let's isolate this a little bit. And when we're looking at length, we need to figure out um, what steps we're going to take to link 12.5 degrees to kilometers. And let's take a look. So I know that we can have degrees right here. It says 1 degree is equivalent to what? 69.047 miles. All right. Can we get from miles to kilometers? Here I see 1 mile to 5,280 feet. You know what? Let's not use that. Let's see what else we have. Hand, inches. Oh, here I see a mile and kilometers. So one mile is equivalent to 1.609 kilometers. We're going to go from degrees to miles and then miles to kilometers. All right, so what's that going to look like? I see that we have 12.5 degrees. And I know that one degree, we just said, is equivalent to... 69.047 miles, great, and I know that when we're looking at miles, one mile is equivalent to, one mile is equivalent to 1.609 kilometers, okay, so what happens next? Let's draw a little table and we're gonna have to uh, do a little bit of canceling so I see that we've got degrees can cancel out I can see that here we have a mile right here right miles cancel out the top and the bottom and that we're only left with uh, one property specifically kilometers and that's what we're trying to figure out so now what we need to do is multiply 12.5 by 69.047 by 1.5 uh, 609. And when you do that using your handy dandy calculator, you're going to get 1,388.7 kilometers. And kilometers is crucial there. So this is our answer. This 1,388.7 is the same thing as 12.5 degrees. Let's take a look at D. If you are rationed 32 gills of fresh water a day, how many liters is this? So we're going to be going from gills to liters. And when we reference our table, we're not going to be using length area. Obviously, we're going to be using volume. So let's sort of highlight that a little bit. And how are we going to get to gills? I'm sorry, how are we going to get to liters from gills? So when we're looking at our options, uh, I see that we've got gills right here. And I see here we have liters. And how are we going to connect the dots? How are we going to um, get from gills to liters? Well, I see... One liter is equivalent to quarts, 1.0567. And I can see that quarts, one quart is equivalent to two pints, and then one pint is equivalent to four gills. So we're going to um, connect gills to liters this way. So let's shift this over right here. And let's start. We're going to start with 32 gills. And 32 gills, gills, um, what kind of relationship? Do gills have with pints? I can see that four gills is equivalent to one pint. Great. Um, and when we sort of shift over a little bit, I can see that when we look, two pints, right, is equivalent to one quart. Two pints are equivalent to one quart. Great. And we got to get to liters. And so how are we going to get to liters? I see that it says one liter is equivalent to 1.0567 quarts. So let's try to do that right now. All right. Oops. All right. 1.0567 quarts is equivalent to one Later. Great. And so now what we need to do is we need to sort of create our chart. 
and let's do that right now. So I'm going to just draw our sort of like our side that line that's going to indicate numerators from the denominator, top from the bottom. And now let's do a little bit of um, canceling. I can notice that cancel out the gills from the top to the bottom. Pints cancel out, as do the quarts. And so we're left with one unit of measurement, and that, of course, is the liters. And so now when we multiply across the top, I can see that 32 times 1 times 1 times 1 is going to give us simply 32. And what about the bottom? Now we need to make sure that we multiply 4 times 2 times 1.06, I'm sorry, 1.0567. And when you do that, you're going to get 8.0567. Four, five, three, six. Next, you're going to need to divide 32 by 8.4536, and you're going to get 3.78 liters. Don't forget the liters. And that, my friends, is our answers. That is uh, 30, 3.78 liters is the same as 32 gills. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good luck on the rest of the assignment. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.